Hey all, it's me Preeti. Yes, and uh, what I'm going to talk today is all about arrays and uh, the important coding questions which are based on arrays. Still now I was discussing more about arrays, arrays, arrays and even today and for several days I'll be discussing on arrays because it is of high importance, right? Yeah, and uh, I think uh, this video would help most of the students because when you go search on the Google and you if you write a question, what are the most important coding questions based on arrays, then this will be the first topic to be I mean, uh, which would come up that is how to eliminate the duplicates uh, present in an array. Mm, so there are different ways of uh, writing this logic. One might be this way. This is very simple. Uh, in the next video, I'll be talking about how to eliminate the duplicates of uh, array um, using collections. So anybody who has learned Java or who's already trying to learn Java, then you might have heard this topic called collections, which is very important in the topic Java. Because collections, they make something impossible to possible because uh, uh, collections, they you in, in collections, there's something called set. This set will no, never allow duplicates to be stored in it. So using this simple concept called set, you can eliminate the duplicates which comes into the array, right? So see, it is so simpler. So please don't miss my next video because I'll be talking something uh, just a little about uh, collections and as of set as well. And I'll also explain how to eliminate uh, duplicates present in an array using set, right? That is collections. And now you, on the screen, you can see a simpler logic as of how to eliminate the duplicates present in an array. And I'll explain you each and every line so that you won't find any complex, uh, anything complex while understanding. Because understanding is most important. You can't just buy her to code. When you go and do coding rounds in a company, I can understand how tough it would be because I have come from the same uh, path as well because most of the coding questions will come up in the similar manner uh, people are not just making this videos of just picking up the topics which i know it is nothing like that i'm just picking up such these kind of questions because they do appear in the coding rounds and these questions i'm not telling you that this will be the question which is coming up this will be the one no i'm not telling you that i'm telling you this kind of questions this format of questions might come because I have attended such interviews and I know which questions, uh, which format of questions could come and so on. That is the reason I have made several videos regarding how each service based company or a product based company interview process is and what kind of interview questions they ask for and how much priority they give to the coding rounds. So next I'll be moving on to explain you about the grammar as well and uh, if it's possible i'll come to quantitative also but then i have told you if you uh, if you crack a coding questions imagine there are two questions and if you if you if you uh, execute all the seven test cases of the first coding question then you are selected so that is the power uh, the coding round has if you did nothing in the grammar side if you did nothing in the quantitative side but if you at least crack one coding question at least seven test cases then you will be the one who is selected among so many people because the company prefers the one who codes perfectly so that is the trust a company has in a person who can code perfectly. So I will request all of you to start preparing by the end of the third year or from the beginning of the fourth year because you are, your placements would surely start by end of third year or from the beginning of fourth year. Uh, so when I was studying, uh, the placements was already begun in the fourth year. That is in the seventh sem only. The first interview I attended was Infosys, and then I attended Cognizant, TCS, Wipro, and many more. So I can say in the seventh sem, most of the companies they come and they hire the freshers in bulk. So I think uh, all of these questions are surely related to those service co based companies only because they never go much in depth. They only go into arrays, strings, numbers, and pattern questions, and not much of data structures as well. But if you're aiming for big product based companies such as Microsoft and so on, then you should be powerful in data structures. And I'll be surely teaching you about that later. But first, let me focus on those companies which you want that is uh, Infosys, TCS and so on. So to know about the interview processes perfectly of those companies, please do watch my interview process playlist which has all the service based companies uh, interview processes. 
so please do watch them and uh, now i'll be teaching about how to eliminate the arrays i mean sorry duplicate elements present in an array using a very simple logic so please do watch it and i'll make sure you will understand each and everything in this line yeah i do promise now what i'm going to do is i'll just take off this logic i can't just put the logic on the screen and tell you see this is the logic just understand by yourself no i can't do that i want all of you to understand perfectly so i'm just taking this logic off this way even this array dot sort i want to speak about this array so array dot sort as well now what i'm having here is initialization and declaration of an array so you can see this presence of uh, duplicates in this array right there is one here uh, and one here and two here and two here and three here and three here four here four here five here five here so this presence of one two ones two twos two threes three threes and uh, so yeah two threes four two fours and two fives now how are you going to eliminate this now that is the logic i'm going to implement first initially i'm going to sort these array into an ascending order that is there is one inbuilt method called arrays dot yes give sort this is an inbuilt method which will sort your array in ascending order directly so this is the power that uh, inbuilt methods has now i'll just print out the I'll, i just don't want to use a for loop again and iterate and print the output here i'll just uh, you know uh, put the command and i'll show you how the output comes it will be like this 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 it will be 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5 so can you see the duplicates of 6? No. So there is only one 6. There is only one 7. There is only one 8. But there is two 9s if you can see. Yeah. So this will be the output when array.sort executes. Right. Now what am I, uh, what am I going to do? To get the individual elements of this array, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to traverse. So, what are, how do you traverse? You can tra traverse by using any loops or any conditions. But now I'm using a for loop. In for loop, I'm going to loop uh, or iterate to get the individual elements. For int i is equals to 0, i less than a dot length and i plus plus. Yes, and now I'm going to perform one simple logic to eliminate the duplicates. That is, I'm going to compare, but here I'm going to give a dot length minus 1. Why am I giving that length minus 1? I'll tell you why am I giving that. If a of i is not equal to a of i plus 1. So this is my logic. If it is not equal to a of i plus 1. Now why am I using this a dot length minus 1? So what is the condition which I, what I have written here? It is a of i and a of i plus 1. So each time it compares the first index position with the second index position. That is the logic. That is the logic it is going to do. But since after sorting this will be your array. So it is going to compare your first index position with the second index position. Second with the third and third with fourth. Fourth with fifth. 5th with 6th, 6th with 7th, 7th with 8th, 8th with 9th, 9th with 10th, 10th with 11th, 11th with 12th, 12th with 13th, 13th with 14th, 14th with 15th. And what it does here, it comes to 15th position and it tries to compare with the 16th index position as well. But if you can see there is no 16th index position and uh, when there is no presence of 16th index position, when it executes, it will show me an exception telling arrays index out of bound exception. So it is telling me there is no such index present. Then you are asking me to compare. How would I do that? So I don't want that to happen. That is the reason I'm just giving length minus 1 so that it eliminates that last index position. I hope I made it clear. Now I've already told you what this is going to do. That is it is going to compare my first index position with the second index position. So if first index position is not equal to second index position. That is if one first index position is different from the second index position then do store it. If both of them are equal then don't store that element into my array. That is please don't store them they are duplicate. If the first index position and the second index position elements are same then please don't store it if first index position and second index position elements both of them are completely different then please store my first index uh, element into a different array but not into the same array so i'll just take another array int result 
is equals to new int new int and this array should have this result array should have the same size as that of this array because there are so uh, that many number of elements which are present so i want the same length now after this i'm gonna store and to iterate this one we need one variable right so i'll give int k is equals to zero okay so here what am i gonna do i'll just increment i'll use my result array and i'll place that k variable and i'll store my a of 5 value i hope uh, you people understood i'm just telling my compiler or my interpreter that if first index position value and second index position value are different if one is different from the second one then please store my first index position value into this array okay if my first index position value and second index position value are same then it never enters into this if loop it fails and it comes out of if loop it goes again to the for loop and it increments i to one so when it comes to one this one z one index position is compared with second index position so you can see one and two are different right at that time it comes in and it stores one here it stores one here again the i value increments and it goes back to for loop when it goes back to for loop you can see the second index position and the third index position are same at that time it never enters into the loop it goes out of the loop and for loop increments and when for loop increments you can see that the third index position is compared with fourth index position you can see they are different they are not equal at that time two is stored into this resultant array so this is how what happens that it just compares to first index position and second index position if first and second index position contains the same values then it never enters into the if if condition if first index position and second index position values are different from one another only then it enters into the if loop and that unique value will be stored into resultant array i hope i made it clear uh, and there is no simpler method than this uh, so i think you understood so what i'm gonna do and uh, at the end I'm going to store the last element into my array. I'm going to start uh, store this last element into the array to uh, as I told it comes arrays index out of bound exception. So that is the reason I'm just storing my last element into my array. Now I'm going to iterate to print this for int i is equals to 0 i less than k and i plus plus so you might be asking me why are you using k there why are you using k there you can use result right so i can also use a result here but when i use a result here it prints all the i mean it prints everything which is present here not the elements yes it will print only the unique elements but what are what is the total length of this array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 elements are being present here so if i give less than result it will surely print the 15 index positions it will print the unique elements and if the rest of the index positions are not unique then it will uh, put print 0 0 0 so i don't want that to happen okay fine i'll just show you that as well system.out.println i'm printing result of j okay result sorry it's a result of i yes so i'm just saving this and just run this program yes run as java application so i hope you can see it that there's one two three four five six which is being print here if you want that to be in a single line i'm just taking off that ln and i'm giving some space here so that it will be good to see on the console the look and feel type so you can see that is one two three four five six seven eight nine is being print so now i've told you if i don't give k if i want to give result so i'll give result dot length so what happens now see 
it will surely print all the unique values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but the rest of the ununique and duplicate elements will be coped up with 0 0 0 so i don't want this to happen i just want this to be printed that is the reason we have taken different array with the diff we have taken different array with different variable so this variable will increment only for the unique elements and not for the duplicate elements okay i hope you people understood so i'll just give it k here again okay i'll just save it and i'll run right so this is how the output comes i know the way, uh, video is a bit lengthier but i don't think it was uh, not worth watching it is 100 percent worth watching because i have explained about everything about the interview processes and the importance and uh, what are you supposed to learn as well so please do sub uh, subscribe to know more to have more updates regarding the channel and what i'm gonna do so i hope you people understand and do please watch my next video because i'll be explaining as of uh, how to eliminate the duplicates present in an array using collections which is of most important topic to be covered so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please do share and subscribe thank you